Ryan's lack of real way to combat them. And just a whole bunch of other stuff. But he does opt to go for Blaze from here, despite the matchup saying that not the best idea, but he's confident enough. And I think he's definitely played the count for, and he has a positive matchup. So he's gonna show us he's gonna show us how you do this here. It's gonna also be important to know support choice here. And Samu has picked um, Emolga, which I definitely approve of. Um, Emolga is just incredibly good at catching out when they start doing their JYs, especially in dual phase. You can just use that when they start doing that and they will punish them, and you'll be able to get your approaches in. So I definitely appreciate that support choice there. And anyways, so Fumu is having a hard time getting his face change here. He really needs to get out of field. This is really where boys can not like this matchup. So when he can get out, it's going to be the best. But that Fennekin is going to hurt him quite a bit. Does he not get it out? We still have not gotten this duel yet. And Fumu is at uh, half his health now. Oh, it does get that counter though. It's going to throw things a little bit into his favor momentum-wise. does get the approach in. But Ooh, the backdash there on by the time the backdash move. I don't know what he's like, but it's just an incredibly good move. I think it has just like invulnerability frame, something like that. It's incredibly good just like getting out of like bad situations. That was nice use of the moment there, calling out that charge. I shot by the counter, respecting the heat wave. The last hitbox being bigger than the rest of them. Ooh, does not go for the void charge counter, and he is gonna have to pay for that. Kind of win that counter war. I like Pakala's use of abusing his field face, not not wing, not trying to get a phase change quite yet. He wants to get the most out of it. Definitely explain it smart with that. Like we were trying to find an opening here, trying to keep his facing away. There's there's a pretty there's a, an exact range you kind of want to be before you really get in on breaks, and he's trying to keep that first out of the way of the boomerang. You can just keep him that area. You can, you're pretty much safe. But anyway, nice use there by over Molga, King to that counter, and then they end it against the wall where Breaks does not like to be. Ooh, Flame Charge being a little bit too high to get a punish. Molga getting shielded, but here comes some shield pressure, but it is going to get punished right there. Yo, nice reaction there by Kumu, canceling his 2 ply into a burst, piercing the counter, and that is going to kill our another time. Yep, right there, nice. Alright, so Fumu and Pekan now even here on this match. If Pekan can take advantage of his field phase like he did on the first game, he is, he might be able to take it, take this. And he still has his burst too, he has not used it yet this set. Nice work by Fumu, just keeping his distance away from Fennekin. Not even one to take the chip. <laughs> Got him, Nugget. Alright, here comes Burst, Brakeson. Not the scariest burst in the game, but definitely still one they have to respect. Alright, nice knee, gonna lead to the Brave Bird for some nice optimal damage right there. Alright, nice high jump kick, he's not going for the EX, but save a little bit more on his health. Uh, I don't think he's saying out of uh, well, he's gonna perfect, yeah, I think I see a little bit of shit damage in there. But, ooh, yep, the Jay White is gonna connect there. Just actually with those Jay Whites, that's when you really want to call him more, because that can just get him into a bad situation. Nice work there with the jump, uh, dive kick there. Ooh, he's not getting the full high jump kick, uh, not high jump kick, sky because so he is not going to be able to kill right yet. In fact, he's going to punish those boys kick attempts. Alright, so can the bring this back? He does not have a lot of health, and he has to deal with um, Mega Blaze getting instant. He's going to nice armor through all those JYs and be able to punch it right in the face. So Fumi will take the first game here. Yeah, I really appreciate Fumu's um, support choice here, using the Emolka. I think that's. In my opinion, that is the best support to use against Breakson, just in general, because it goes through, I want to say, everything except for um, Fire Spin. I know for sure it doesn't, and I think Fire Blast is cancels it out as well, but I may not be sure about that. But for sure, it's definitely good to just be able to close in gaps, especially with a character like Blaziken who has a hard time doing that. I know for Garchomp as well, it's incredibly helpful. Alright, nice does the EX version of Blaze Kick have able to get a pierce. Oh, it does miss the JY there a little bit. Oh, high jump kick missing, that'll be a wake up situation. Does jump to avoid the grab, pick up a nice combo by Fumu. Ooh, drops a 2 wide there, though. Nice flamethrower call out by Pakano there. A nice amount of damage. Not how many days, so this is the most damage. Ooh, he does a wall combo into more Blaze Kicks for a nice wall spot there. Pakano's seeing only a little bit of health, but, and that's not gonna help him much. That very risky grab, actually, right there, I saw. Alright, Tenekin will give him a little bit more space. Ooh, does T-Wax underneath, but does not last long enough to avoid the EX Blaze, uh, bl Flare Blitz, I believe that is. Alright. Just do some zoning out there, get him out of the air. 
Here comes Mega Blaze again, though. He's not going to be messing around anymore. All right, here comes High Jump Kick Pressure. Here comes Fan can get away a little bit on that burst. All right, so just stare down right here. Oh, there's a double grab right there, but Fika was just a few frames quicker. All right, here comes Burst. Breaks in. Who's going to pop it first? Here comes Fumu with the pop. Not going to hit, but he's going to give some speed buffs here. Ooh, nice. Knock him out of the air there. Does miss the meaty grab. Oh, nice. Timing on the high jump kick by Fumu right there. Goes for the non ex but knowing that the full thing would not connect and going to save a little bit on his health. Here comes Umoka there, beating out that counter. Fumu on a roll right now. Has a huge amount of momentum. Nice shield chip right there, but he's going to have to stack his own health there. Nice calling out the back dash there. I need a little bit more health. Oh, nice play throw. Actually lasting long enough to be a meaty. Ooh, does it grab? Is that going to be it? I, I'm not sure. Not quite. Fumu has a little bit of health left. But Pakano, no, slight lead here. He's approaching. He's not easy. He's going to sit out in zone. Force Fumu to approach. Just one more hit. We'll do it. Fumu just playing it patient. Maybe waiting for his Amolga to come back. But that shield is not looking too happy right now. Ooh, does not get the Tatsu. And the Fennec get into the boomerang combo right there. Nice work by Pakano. Just waiting it out. Waiting for his opportunity. Nice, taking advantage of it with that slight mistiming of the Tatsu against the Fennekin there. Boomerang. <laughs> Boomer got his nugget. He ha he's happy. Alright, here comes Emolga on the shield. Oh, actually getting a grab in there. I thought the shield sound would have been a bit too much, but actually able to get some nice damage. So nice, another grab there. No Council getting a little bit scared. Now it's the interesting situation. That's where what's going to happen next. Heat Wave some nice chip here. That shield's looking awfully broken. Oh, it's gonna break right there. And, oh, this not, does not get what he wanted there. He did a heat wave instead. But he's still gonna get speed buff from the burst there. Ooh, that's gonna do it. And is that gonna kill? Yes, it is. And Fumu will take the set 2-0 against Pakana right there.